All right, so there are many ways you can do uh, upper thoracic manipulation, mobilization, um, either T1 and T3. Uh, sometimes we'll refer to this as the C7 T1 extension mode. Um, I usually do it in, in someone with pain at the cervical thoracic junction or even shoulder pain. Uh, if they can get into the position and thoracic pain, even just typical cervical pain up at the uh, um, upper cervical spine. Um, what I like to do with this technique is facilitate extension, which is typically what we're trying to do. Um, so it's kind of a hybrid technique and just a typical manipulation, but uh, kind of a mulligan technique as well. Um, so I'll, what I'll get uh, the patient to do is put your hands behind your neck, forming their clasp or fingers together. Um, this might be the telltale sign if you do this technique, if they can get their hands behind their head. Um, and then what I like to do to put the hybrid kind of component on it is to get the patient to just look up a little bit and then just relax. And then also squeeze the shoulders backwards. Good. Look up too. So to me, I kind of prime that area. Um, and you can go for infeel here. It depends on what you want to do. You can provide more of a uh, cephalid and posterior thrust or either just a distraction. Or uh, either you can uh, just kind of do a small oscillation mode, whatever you're trying to do. Okay.